Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. U.S. stocks surged overnight as investors bought the dip following Wall Street's worst week of the year, with hopes that a potential Federal Reserve rate cut later this month would help support a slowing economy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average soared 484.18 points, or 1.2%, rebounding after losing more than 1,200 points last week. The S&P 500 rose 1.16%, marking its best day in over a week and snapping a four-day losing streak after suffering its worst performance since March 2023. The Nasdaq Composite also jumped 1.16%, following its worst week in more than two years. Turning to the US sectors, all sectors closed higher overnight. Consumer discretionary was the best performer overnight, whilst communication services recorded the fewest gains. NVIDIA, which had dropped 14% last week, climbed 3.5% on Monday, contributing to the tech-heavy index's recovery. Palantir and Dell Technologies also saw notable gains of 14% and 3.8% respectively, after S&P Dow Jones indices announced late Friday that both stocks would be added to the S&P 500. Apple's latest iPhone launch drew attention as the tech giant introduced a new model featuring artificial intelligence capabilities, potentially boosting the stock and strengthening the AI investment narrative in the markets. Beyond tech, retailers, banks and industrial stocks also bounced back as investors speculated that a rate cut could boost consumer spending. JP Morgan Chase, Costco, Amazon and Boeing were among Monday's top performers. Shares of Summit Therapeutics surged as much as 75.2% on Monday before settling at a 56% gain by close. The biotech firm had released the results of a phase three study on Sunday at the 2024 World Conference on Lung Cancer in San Diego. The data demonstrated demonstrated that its lung cancer treatment outperformed the current standard of care from Merck. Market participants are now eagerly awaiting key inflation data that could influence the Fed's decision at its September 18th meeting. The August Consumer Price Index and Producer Price Index reports due out Wednesday and Thursday are expected to provide crucial insights into inflation trends. Traders are confident that the Fed will implement at least a quarter point rate cut. Monday's rally follows a difficult start to September, traditionally a challenging month for stocks. Last week's decline were particularly triggered by the August jobs report, which raised concerns about a weakening labour market. Historically, the S&P 500 has averaged a 0.7% decline in September, the worst performance of any month, according to the stock traders Almanac. And looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 1% gain. Thank you for listening.